there. This is Henry Lee from BlueHeronArts.com. Now I'm going to share with you my favorite uh, Shanghai school master, Xu Gu. Xu Gu lived in the late Qing Dynasty from 1824 to 1896. Um, his painting style is very unique. You won't be confused with any other paintings of his time, or even uh, to today. So he used a very uh, dry brush with the side of uh, the, uh, the brush to paint. Uh, so his stroke is so unique, and uh, uh, with a very uh, strong contrast between wet and dry. For example, he does this uh, scarrows um, very well and uh, very abstract sometimes. Uh, he also good at uh, fish, goldfish, and uh, flowers and birds, um, vegetables. See this is goldfish. This, this detail you can see the how he does this stylized uh, um, eye. His goldfish always swimming downward towards the bottom of the pool. Uh, in many paintings, he inscribed that uh, fish doesn't know the the storm of wave uh, on the surface of the the water. So it's a uh, uh, wish for peaceful life to sink to the bottom of the the pond, the peaceful pond. And the uh, squirrel is very. Um, unique. I love this uh, texture a lot. No, nobody can uh, really reproduce his strokes like as his signature. You know. um, he used a lot of uh, water uh, to do fruits, so you can feel you can feel the juicy loquats in this painting, and uh, the uh, green peaches. Um, we'll find that later. Birds is influenced by Hua Xinluo, is a Yangzhou artist. He does this low quad, uh, very good. I saw this original in Nanjing Museum. I think yeah, that's where it was collected. This uh, crane, pine, and chrysanthemum is uh, my favorite too. This uh, lotus root is a veggie. Uh, food and uh, some uh, water plants, uh, nuts, water nuts. And this is uh, a peach outlined, but uh, sometimes he does without outlines, more interesting. And this low cuts again. This orchid is outlined with his unique uh, uh, dry side brush stroke with a shaking hand. So this uh, um, Great. You can see the outline is so delicate. This cat, I, I learned his uh, eyes. Uh, that's how he does the cat eye in my own cat painting. Fish again. And, uh, the side stroke brush, uh, side stroke brushwork for the leaves of bamboo. Very shiku style. This uh, chrysanthemum. Look at the contrast between the fade, uh, the watery, uh, wet leaves with dry brush uh, outlined flowers. This this plum blossom is so uh, modern. It's like a construction of different lines without really thinking about the likeness or the detail of the branch. But it looked like uh, just like uh, the plum tree. Very abstract, so to speak. So he does lots of uh, uh, kitchen scenes. You see, you see this crane. Oh, uh, this snake. This is very unusual subject matter. One of the twelve zodiac animals, 
and Chinese uh, uh, zodiac. Crows, there was a moon. Well, birds, fish. Let me see this one. Here's the most important uh, Shanghai school artist. I got to show you this uh, peach. Uh, it's very unique. He does the green peach with the uh, mineral green. Fish, lotus, lotus root and the pots. Beautiful color. Red uh, fruits, melon. Here is another one. Uh, this is the green peach that I learned from. Uh, you, you have seen uh, YouTube I, how I did this painting after him. This is the original. The cherries with leaves. And the outlined orchids. I have copied all this. Uh, it looks so familiar to me. Every time I look at it, I want to paint it again. The eggplants and the pumpkins, apples and the grapes. Um, so if you like veggie and uh, uh, fruits, you got to have this book. It's very inspirational, and uh, uh, you can also learn some uh, uh, other, um, you know, like landscapes. It is also very good. Um, let me see if I can find it in, in here. The landscapes. Beautiful, isn't it? All right. We got uh, two volumes of uh, uh, more than 400 paintings in this uh, uh, book that you can have at uh, blueheronarts.com. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.